Welcome everyone. You're going to begin the webinar on what's new at ICAR. I'm Melissa Joles with RDA Impact and Doug Schluter, National MSO Manager of ICAR is your presenter today. The webinar will take approximately 30 to 35 minutes and we are recording it and we'll post it on our YouTube channel. If you do have questions during the webinar, you can type them in the chat box at the bottom right of your screen and Doug will answer those during the presentation. Now I'm going to turn it over to Doug. Hey Melissa, thank you very much. Um, Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us. You know, probably about um, a couple months ago, Melissa and I were talking, and we were talking about a you know a topic for today's call. And instead of really just going over some of the uh, basic iCar stuff, we thought we'd do you know what's new with iCar. And when I thought about that topic, you know, the number one thing that came to my mind is the internet site. About 18 months ago, iCar spent. Uh, roughly a 35 million, uh, excuse me, iCar spent roughly a $2 million on, on the upgrade iCar.com. Uh, to put that in perspective, um, iCar is a $35 million organization, so that's just a huge amount of money uh, to invest in it. But the beauty of the website, uh, the enhanced website, is you can do so many things on it. Uh, for example, you can uh, manage your iCar training, obviously, uh, there's sectioning information, on iCar.com, there's calibration information on iCar.com, there's glass replacement information on iCar.com. If you want to know uh, where training is uh, online, where uh, training is in your neighborhood, um, all that information uh, can be found on iCar.com. So today we're just going to kind of dig into some of the details of it. And what I'd like to mention at the start of these talks is, is really um, probably the, the two most important things uh, with the advanced website. Uh, number one, you can search anything you want with a new um, browser that's in place, the, the new search button. So you can just type in, like one thing we're going to talk about today is a calculator. You can type the word calculator in and you'll find it. Um, also, it's compatible on your phone. So unlike some other sites that might run slow on your phone, whether you have an Android phone or whether you have a um, an Apple phone, when you go to iCar.com and you load that information up on your phone, when you log into the site, everything that we're going to talk about today um, is applicable uh, on your phone. And that's really a good thing, like on some of this technical information that we'll get to here in a little bit, when your uh, technicians are actually working on a car, they need to retrieve information. Uh, they can do that on their phone without having to go into the office. So. We have approximately 10 slides, and I'll just kind of go through uh, each of the slides uh, today. Um, as we go to the, the second slide, um, you can see you know, a lot of information on the screen here. This is our, our main landing page, our main home page there. And like we talked about, um, there at the very top of the screen, you can see the search button, uh, the search field, and that's where you'll type in any information. Uh, there's just no need to try to, to memorize how all this stuff is mapped out. It's just it's too complicated. If you think about it, ICAR is about a 40-year eh, organization, and there's over 10,000 pages uh, worth of information in here. So it would just be uh, too much effort to try to memorize how to get to a certain um, page in here. So if you just type the information into the search field, you can find that information. Um, also, I want to spend a little bit of time. If you look at the right-hand side of your screen there, you can see a few um, icons. And besides the Internet site, there's been a lot of updates here. For example, uh, the intro series. Uh, the intro series is 15 one-hour modules that, for example, if you're a beginner in the industry and you want to know, you know, even the basics, what's the difference between a, a Phillips screwdriver and a regular screwdriver, um, how are clips used, um, you know, maybe a twisted frame, um, all the terminology of collision repair. Uh, the intro to collision repair is a really nice series uh, for that. And moving down, the uh, PDP, as we call it, the Production Development Program, that's really what we're in now as far as the definition of gold class. It's role-based training. So that's what that one's about. Uh, welding, a lot of updates with welding that's taken place over the past five years. Uh, we actually go to the shop and certify the technicians on their own equipment. 
Um, back in October, as we moved down to the, the last uh, icon there on, on column one, the vehicle and technology um, series came out. And the beauty of that series is you can get um, a specific class for a model, or you can get a specific class for technology, for example, like carbon fiber, um, all available there. Going to the top of the screen, um, alliance training. If you guys have not taken advantage of alliance training, I would strongly uh, urge you to do that. Uh, for example, like Chief for Evercoat, right? Those guys have alliance training. So instead of spending approximately oh, $138 for an ICAR class, you can spend roughly $45 for an alliance class. And again, um, define all the information. There's like a 15-page document on Alliance that lays it all out and it, it lets you know really all the vendors that you work with, um, who's in the program. All you have to do is go to the search field and type the word Alliance and you'll get right, right to it. Uh, InShop, uh, knowledge assessment. Um, another big advancement as far as what's new with ICAR. Um, what we do with this program is we actually go to your, your shop and we assess the individuals in your shop in a verbal uh, format. So we'll, we'll talk to them and we'll see exactly what they know. And if they're able to test out of the ICAR courses, um, they're able to test out of the ICAR courses. So roughly each knowledge assessment is 17 minutes long. So instead of going to a four-hour ICAR course, you know, some of the basic ICAR courses, you can go to the in-shop knowledge assessment and, and get that process to, you know, get your technicians uh, uh, tested out of, so to speak, some of the ICAR courses. And in, in rough cost, that's about the same cost as, as gold class. A hands-on is another uh, new development uh, with ICAR. Rivet bonding, MIG brazing, um, all those things that you hear about talks in the industry. Um, we actually go to your shop for that initiative. And then the last one there is related to uh, some of the efforts going on in the career and technical schools. So as we go to the next page, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, you know, what, what's the benefit of ICAR? Does it, does it really make sense for me to invest in ICAR training? We, you know, we have any questions at the end, we can address you know, what, what does it cost for ICAR? But the, the beauty of this calculator right here is you can figure out um, exactly the return on investment uh, from ICAR. You enter in some, some basic information in this calculator, like your average revenue, your average uh, um, order number, the number of um, severity, really, and the number of technicians uh, in the, these fields in the calculator, and it will tell you what the anticipated a return on investment is. So this information is just, um, it's not information from ICAR. Um, ICAR um, has, you know, been involved in three different studies uh, over the past four years. Um, two of those studies were independent studies. Uh, for example, uh, 27 uh, locations in Colorado that went through ICAR training from zero to gold class and then uh, you know, we did an analysis to see if they, they made improvements, and yes, uh, they made improvements with four main KPIs. So that information is logged into the ca calculator. Um, also, um, the Hertz Corporation, excuse me, Enterprise uh, did a study too, and basically they, they took their thousands of shops that are tied into Enterprise, and then they overlaid on top of that um, all the gold class shops. And when they did the math on that, it, it was proven that the length of rental was significantly less for gold class businesses. So all of that knowledge, all of the, the algorithm, algorithms and so forth um, are in this calculator that you can log into. And again, if you just go to the search button and, and enter um, um, ROI calculator, uh, you'll get that information. One of my favorite ones is coming on the screen now and that's uh, goldclass.com. Um, if you haven't gone to goldclass.com, um, I would strongly recommend that. You can go there, so you, you log into goldclass.com, obviously you go through the search field like we've talked about today, and you enter your zip code, and you can see all the gold class businesses 
uh, that are in your neighborhood. You know, it's probably, in my mind, if, if I owned a shop, I definitely want to know what my competition is. And you can see all that information uh, on goldclass.com, but also it has uh, information uh, for the consumer uh, consumers out there. So um, if you get involved in an accident, what do you do? And it lists, um, you know, several paragraphs of all the good things that you're supposed to do uh, following an accident. And obviously, uh, on the site, we highlight all the gold class businesses um, on a mileage radius. So, you know, um, zero miles from the zip code, uh, 10 miles from the zip code. Um, all that information is listed in um, goldclass.com. And again, you can look it up on your on your computer. You can look it up on a tablet. You can look it up uh, on your phone. Uh, just very accessible. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's just that. Uh, probably one of the bigger advancements that's happened over the past two years is the, the RTS, as we refer to it, the Repairability Technical Support Portal. Um, this service that we're going to go into detail here uh, is available to any uh, gold class business, to any platinum individual, and it's uh, completely free. So if you're a gold class business or you're a platinum individual, they have like a separate, ICAR has like a separate deal where you can actually pay to get it, but I, I just recommend to, uh, to either earn, earn the gold class status or the platinum status uh, to get into it, but it's just comprehensive uh, technical information. This information is obviously for your techs, um, it's for um, owners of the business, um, for estimators, um, all that in one, one site. So we're going to dig into some of the details on that. So if you need, if you need information, for example, um, airbag information, uh, you can find that on RTS. If you need information, OEM information for uh, repair procedures, uh, you can find that on RTS. If you need um, to do videos, in other words, how do I do this uh, procedure? Uh, you can find that on RTS. We also have uh, in RTS really just daily um, daily collision news. So you know, I'm I'm sure you guys are like I am. I'm I'm just uh, have a a number of sources that I get uh, my collision news from. But if you go to the RTS, or, you know, you can have it so it just um, I've even signed up on Twitter, so I get like tweets, tw tweets you might say, of um, you know all the different things. A couple couple tweets every day on just new developments um, that come through the RTS um, service. So that that's definitely cool. One of my favorite things on there is is a daily uh, top ten. <coughs> so excuse me. So um, daily top ten as it relates to. Uh, collision repair questions. So you have the collision repair experts uh, there at, at um, Appleton, Wisconsin, where all those guys are based, and they are answering the questions. And out of all the questions that come in, um, they they put the top ten on there. So so really good stuff. And they just don't answer the question uh, with a couple paragraphs. <laughs> Excuse me. They will actually. Um, you know, they re reference a, a um, OEM procedure. Uh, they'll put that information, they'll, they'll paste all of that information in there. Uh, you might have a question, you know, is it worth it to me to log into, say, General Motor Motors to get XYZ um, procedure? Uh, you can go through RTS and we'll tell you yes or no, um, is that information available if you go to General Motors? Right, so uh, you know beforehand, before you spend your money to go to General Motors to, to get that information, whether it's available, uh, yes or no. <coughs> you know, I was in a shop recently, and and I was watching some of the techs in their work, in their you know, as they were working, and they were using their phones with RTS. So so again, like we talked about, if you use your phone. Uh, you can quickly uh, go to this information and, and get it, uh, sectioning information, whatever, 
available on your phone. So obviously if you're a technician, you don't have to walk into the shop uh, to get that information. Uh, like we talked about a second ago, the Ask iCard there. So you can see the whole team there. I mean, it's just a, a huge investment in um, each one of these people just have a significant amount of time uh, with iCar or in the industry. Um, a group of these people have um, just meaningful relationships with the, with the OEMs and they can truly answer uh, these questions uh, quickly. Um, you, can ask, you can ask these questions. Um, when, when you log into RTS, you'll see a, a phone number uh, where you can call into the Ask iCar folks or you can ask the questions via uh, the internet through through RTS. Now the goal here is to get your questions answered uh, within two hours. So if you have a sectioning uh, question, I guess number one, uh, let's say you have a sec sectioning a question on a 2011 Honda Accord, uh, you'll see the filters in there. Um, so you'll you'll you know Honda Accord uh, 2011. Uh, once you enter that information in the filter, you'll see um, all the all the related. Uh, questions that have been asked so far. Uh, this site's been around since 2014, but if your question is not, has not been asked or answered, um, you can submit a question in, and then they will answer it within two hours. Uh, some, some of the more difficult questions, uh, the goal is to get those questions answered uh, within 24 hours. Hey, Doug. So, yeah. I have a question here. Um, the question is, sure. can yeah. anybody have can anybody have access to RTS? It, yeah, anybody can have access to RTS, provided you're a platinum individual or a gold class shop. And and there was some yeah, there's some dialogue. It's um, I don't have the number in front of me, but it's like twelve hundred dollars a year or something if you wanted to just to just have access to it. But like I said a second ago, if you if you, my recommendation would be obviously just just become a platinum individual or, or gold class business to get to get access to it. Thank you. Um, move, moving on to the next page. Um, again, a lot of a lot of calibration uh, information. You know that that just seems there's really not a day that goes by where you don't hear any of this diagnostic uh, conversation going on in the industry. Um, and to be able to go to to a free site, so as I, you know, I say it's free, platinum or gold class. To be able to go to a site like RTS and get all this information, and and just how powerful it is to be able to sort by uh, make and model to get it, and you get information like calibration information for sensors, calibration information for radars, calibration information uh, for cameras. Um, it's all in. RTS, uh, probably one of the biggest undertakings, uh, at least in the past, you know, 10 years or so, uh, with ICAR. And you can kind of see, you know, really just from that screenshot there, how how everything is laid out. But each one of those buttons, obviously, when you push it, just a a wealth of information. Um, more more features. Um, for example, when you, when you log into RTS, um, you have OEM um, partial part replacement search information. Um, so just um, a lot of stuff there. You also have information on restraints, uh, restraint systems, and part re replacement information. And also just uh, basic information like um, how do I uh, disable a hybrid vehicle? Right. That always seems to you know where where is where is that a component on the car. You can dig into uh, RTS to find that information. And again, like we've talked about, a lot of glass replacement information there too. One of my favorite features on iCar.com or just in general over, over the past uh, six, seven years is just how prevalent uh, social media has been. And it seems like uh, ICAR was kind of uh, late to the game on this topic, but we, in, in my mind, have more than made up for it. I mean, if you go in, you can you can look at any of these. Um, I'll just let me just grab one. I'm going to talk about the Facebook deal. 
uh, on Facebook. Um, um, there's there's not a day that goes by that in my in my news feed that I don't get a gold class update. You know, in other words, um, professional benefit statements on the value of gold class and and what it means to the shop, what it means to the consumer, um, all in there. Um, other other really valuable information would be in the YouTube. So if you go to ICAR um, YouTube and and you uh, search around in there, you're going to find about between 45 and 50 um, ICAR videos that talk about um, really what's new with ICAR, some of the new courses that are that are coming out, uh, why it's applicable to shops and, and consumers, um, all done in a professional format. Um, you know, just thinking out loud about this, uh, uh, Jason Barton and uh, one of the chief guys out there in Appleton has developed a series for YouTube called 360. So he takes uh, some of the newest cars, you know, ironically, he just bought a, a new uh, 2015 F-150, and he did a 360 series on his F-150, and here he is walking around talking about all the different components and, and how they're integrated and what and, and really what what's involved after an accident um, as he walks around uh, the, this truck. So that's one example of the 360 program available on YouTube. So really just a, a wealth of information there. Um, and and what, what else is there? I mentioned Twitter. You know, Twitter's tied into, um, Twitter's tied into the, the RTS, uh, like I mentioned a second ago. Uh, you know, I get a few tweets uh, every day about new developments with iCar. So uh, once, you, once you subscribe to this stuff and get logged on, um, it's amazing, it's, and of course your your customers too. Um, they'll they'll get this information too. If they that they're involved with social media. So, so that's um, really kind of a a brief update on um, what's going on with iCar. You know, with a, really just a focus on the internet site. So definitely we have some room for for questions here. I'll turn it back over to Melissa. Uh, thoughts, Melissa? Um, yeah, uh, Doug. We do have a couple questions here. Um, really good information on the website and how to use it. Um, what came up is how much does gold class cost and how long would it take for my shop to become a gold class shop? Well, that, that's, a, that's a really good question. Um, you know, it really, the, to answer that, it really depends on how large your shop, you know, how many technicians you have in your shop and, um, and how much ICAR training those guys have had in the past. But if you had a shop of, say, um, five, uh, individuals, five technicians in your shop, and nobody has gone through iCar training. We're talking the talking in the category of around six thousand dollars, and that's that's like worst case scenario uh, for a smaller shop uh, with nobody that has gone through uh, any iCar training. And you could, you know, it could take you uh, most likely it'd take you about seven months to get through the training. But if you think about what we talked about earlier, um, the in shop knowledge assessment would just be a great uh, situation for a shop like that. Um, there, there's many um, no thresholds to that program, but if you have if you have less than 50% ICAR training for the shop, you qualify to go through the ISCA. Pro, we call it internally ISCA in shop knowledge assessment program. Uh, so we would go to your shop and we would have verbal conversations with your uh, technicians. And you know, once all that's done, usually you got you have to follow that up with some welding. And so forth, but the average turn time on that is about 21 days. So that's that's a lot less than uh, going through uh, seven months of training. So good question. Sure, sure. Um, I have one more question here that says, um, I am a gold class business, um, but how can I promote it? Yeah, um, that, that's a that's a really good question too. When you go into um, your profile, so you log into iCard, you know, you log into iCard by going to the upper uh, right section there and, and click on that and, and you get into your profile. Um, once you get into your profile, you should have a, a black box there and the key is to click that black box and you can see all the good stuff that's available. There's radio scripts in there, there's TV commercial scripts in there, uh, as well as like how, how to go about this. Uh, there's collateral for your shop. Um, you know, ordering information. Uh, I can put these trifolds on my counter. 
Um, I can buy a holder uh, for that. There's window cling uh, information in there. Um, you know, if, if you're if you need a new plaque for whatever reason, you can order a new um, ICAR gold plaque. Um, all of that information uh, is in uh, is in your profile when you're a gold class business. Um, that's it for questions. Um, anybody else? I just want to let everybody know that I will follow up. And um, Doug, I'm going to send them all your information. So if they have other questions after the webinar, they can follow up with you directly, if you don't mind. That'd be great. And um, again, nice. we're recording this, so if you need any of the information, uh, we'll post it on the YouTube channel, and you guys can uh, click on the link, and you can watch it and get the information that Doug just reviewed. Um, I don't have any other questions, so um, I thank you for your time, everyone. Thanks, Doug, and uh, we'll be in touch with future training opportunities. All right? Thanks. Yep, thank you.